Yeah, I'm not believing it either. Somebody got me on one. What is the purpose of a covered bridge? I can't even see the water. Crazy. Now I'm new to kayak fishing. It's, it's a different kind of thing for me, but here in Virginia, it's a perfect state to go kayak fishing. I wanna thank my buddy Curtis for bringing me out here and also TJ. We've had a great time today. TJ's caught like 40 fish. Me, I'm waiting for the trophy fish. At least that's what I'm telling everybody because I don't wanna think I've been out fished all day, but I kinda have. Nevertheless, this is a great uh, experience here. So this is the North Fork Shenandoah River and it varies in depth. I mean there are different places where it gets a little deeper. There's some rapids in some place and this area right here I call it like a lazy river. It's just kind of you just kind of drift down through here, but it's very very nice. Just outside Newmarket, Virginia, and this covered bridge here is awesome. I didn't even know it was here. My buddy Curtis showed it to me as we got to our fishing spot today, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And these are some of the amazing secrets that you can find in Virginia. So why build a covered bridge? Well, here's how the thinking goes. If you build a bridge out of wood and you don't cover it, you get about 20 years out of that bridge until it falls apart and hopefully you're not driving over it when that happens. But if you build a covered bridge, you can get up to like 100 plus years out of it. So kind of makes sense that if you're going to build a wooden bridge, put a roof on it. When I think of wooden bridges, I think of like New England, you know, Vermont, stuff like that. Uh, but it turns out Virginia's got quite a few wooden bridges too. And Carol and I'd like to explore several of these things. They're kind of cool. I've romanticized them in my head. They're kind of a part of my childhood traveling with my mom and dad. And so I think they're just cozy and wonderful. Kind of scary though, when you're driving through there, it's definitely a one lane bridge. You gotta wait for the other person to pass, which is fun, but they're just kind of neat. Carol and I are looking forward to hitting the corn mazes here in Virginia this fall. We didn't get to last fall, but we have a lot of corn mazes around us, so we're kind of excited about that. Should be pretty cozy. Should be a stroll down Corn's Lane. Obviously, this is not a corn maze. Carol and I are about 25, 35, maybe 40 minutes away from that covered bridge. We're outside of Edinburgh now, and we're on an old forest road that at one point, there's a place where you can actually pay a fee and ride four wheelers and any kind of ATV on these trails around here. We're on a, a, normal, a normal kind of road right now. It's a gravel road, and it's really pretty, kind of a logging area. I used to get mad when I would see logging in National Forest, but the reality of it is, is that that's kind of the job of the National Forest is to manage the state's resources or the country's resources, whether it be logging or minerals or whatever the case is. And there's a lot of money in logging. I mean, it's not exactly like, you know, the rainforest or anything like that, that there's 
plans in place to replant the trees, and so it's a kind of a renewable resource. What do you think about logging? Let me know in the comments. Look at this gorgeous view from on top of Massanutten Mountain. It's a Page County here in Virginia. If you notice the, the long mountain chain across the valley, that mountain chain right there is where the Skyline Drive is. And we make a lot of videos over there, but the valley here is absolutely beautiful. Page County is a beautiful county in the state of Virginia. seeing now is a view from the front royal end of the Skyline Drive or the north entrance of Skyline Drive and it is quite beautiful very different than what we normally show which is the southern end of the Skyline Drive or the Big Meadows area all the way to the Blue Ridge Parkway this is uh, not far from Washington DC at all and a lot of people come down here and kind of enjoy themselves and get out of the big city life by coming up to the Skyline to the north entrance Thank mm -hmm. you. 